Stars TV. Alright, so what's going on? This is Justin from Street Stars TV Gaming Technology, and today we have Jammers. How you doing, people? Uh, that's it, man. How are you doing, people? First and foremost, uh, we want to know a bit about Jammers because I know about you, but the audience don't know about you. So, you know, break it down. Who is Jammers? All right, so guys, obviously, like Justin said, thanks for introducing me. Thanks for having me for this interview. My name is Jammers. I'm pretty much a commentator for the team you must know as Unequal Media, the FGC, the fighting game community scene. You all know who they are. And I'm part of another team as well called Mash on Pad. Shout out to my Mash on Pad boys. We pretty much play any other fighting game. It pretty much isn't Street Fighter 4 because Street Fighter is the face of fighting games and Unequal Media is taking care of that. But yeah, I'm just an average fighting game player, but I'm pretty much the up and coming commentator for the UK. Heck, it might be Europe. We don't know. No, it's good, it's good to know that you're, you're doing your thing. You're definitely getting out there. You know, we've heard you on commentary a lot for our bracket reset as well. So, you know, definitely getting out there. How long have you been doing the commentary? Well, believe it or not, right? This time last year, I asked the twins if I could commentate. Nice. Their answer was no. Look okay. where I am now. So, so what you're saying is basically you got rejected, but you still kept on going. I still kept on going because pretty much I started working with the twins February time. Right. Because what it was was I was in my final year of university yeah. last year September, and I met the twins at EGX. But well, I've known them for a long time, but right. I, I kind of like re uh, reunited with them. Kind of just like, yeah. saw them at the event and said, "Hey, what's up? It's been a while." <clears throat> and I said, "Can I commentate?" Right. Because uh, I knew I knew I could commentate, but they didn't know I could commentate. So then they said, "Okay, we can't." like take a risk so unfortunately we can't even do it and I was like okay and then I heard about this weekly called as Justin mentioned before Bracket Reset it's a Street Fighter 4 weekly that we hold in London Caledonia Road the Meltdown Bar for those of you who do not know check it out on Twitter Facebook and Unequal Media but um, yeah I went there and asked it was an open mic at the time yeah. and I asked them can I commentate for a little bit they said yeah sure go for it and then when they heard the knowledge I had that I accumulated for the game and like my presentation and like my articulation about speaking about the game yeah. they said that's pretty good you know you can commentate the game you look like you've got knowledge and they started asking me just to volunteer for certain events they've done like the beatdowns at the Capcom office and obviously some more bracket resets and then there was a certain week in February, I believe it was in After Keep It Classy Volume 5 or 4. Um, I commentated there, and then that week, the past week that was going, uh, Mash on Pad wanted to put me part of their team. But at the same time, I was working with Unequal Media on the day that we, okay. that Mash on Pad, the team leader, May South, the C4IQ, we were talking about me joining Mash on Pad. On the same day, Mark and Richard said, We want you part of UM. So I pretty much joined. Unequal Media and Mash on Pad on the same day, which is hence the name that if you see me playing tournaments or anywhere on social networks, it's UMMOP, that's Unequal Media, Mash on Pad, and Jammers. And then pretty much from February onwards, I've just been helping out the twins as much as I can in the commentary role because they need someone up and coming. Because right. it's going to be obviously, we have Logan Sama, the DJ, we've got Zade, a very professional commentator, and we've got F Word, who doesn't know F Word in the FGC, no right? Neither. So pretty much, it's like there's going to be a point in time where they're not going to be around and they can't right. always commentate and we can't get the players to commentate because they want to fully focus on the competitive on side right. so who is going to take their place yeah. and since I didn't really gel with Street Fighter 4 yeah. as a competitive game I said well, why not commentate because I love watching it and I love just uh, talking about it but I don't like playing it competitively but that's pretty much my role in the scene uh, with Unequal Media and commentating right now so yeah that's pretty much that side of things Ah, oh, wicked um, you know like we played I played you at Street Fighter 5 and I know that you're liking the game. Yeah. Can you see yourself becoming serious at it, like competitive wise, or is it just pretty much something that you're dabbling with that you feel that you've got a natural talent for? Because I, I can't lie, you have a natural talent for Street Fighter 5. <laughs> it laughs in. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but you do have a natural talent, so is, is it a thing that you can kind of see yourself kind of going down the competitive route, or are you still going to try and do commentary for it? Well, the thing is, me and the twins we spoke about what's going to happen in the future of me and Unequal Media for them and they want to push my commentary side more than the competitive side it'll still allow me to play games because what it is I've got a lot of free time yeah. on my hand so I pretty much I'm at home I'm watching various different fighting games and how they work I'm just watching them at EVO high level tournaments I'm just taking notes because you never know I could be asked to commentate one of these games in the future but regarding Street Fighter 5 I like the way the game is going at the moment and I like the, the, the meta game behind it so I'm really really hyped and interested intrigued about how it's going to work that's yeah. why i've been spending a lot of time i've had an extensive time on the game because i do play at the capcom offices uh winner stays on the stream on every tuesday hosted by your boy logan sama but um yeah i definitely do like the way the game is going and 
I'll probably be competitive about it, but that won't be a full-time thing for me. The commentary side of fighting games will be the full-time thing for me. Alright, wicked man. And to finish it off, can you give your social media networks for people that want to follow you and follow your success? Alright, so guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at HTJammers. You'll find a little picture of me and my character Poison behind me on the Twitter. I'm pretty much, I do the commentary role. If you want to catch me commentating, you can have me on a Thursday at twitch.tv forward slash unequal media. I'm sure they'll put the annotations in the description or on the screen. And you can watch that every Thursday from 8.30 p.m. You can watch me commentate to Street Fighter 4. If you want to see some Street Fighter 4 on a Tuesday, maybe some Street Fighter 5 action at the Capcom offices, that's going to be with me. Sometimes it's mainly Logan Summer that is hosting the show. And that's going to be on twitch.tv forward slash Capcom Fighters. Also, if you want to follow my other team, Match on Pad, just type them in on YouTube at uh, Match on Pad. You can find them there and check out the stuff we do. Because we pretty much do every Sunday. We have our little weeklies for every other fight game that isn't Street Fighter 4. But we have a lot of fun. You guys can follow them there. And pretty much, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Okay, man. Thank you very much, man. Much love, have millions. So you take it easy, guys.